Ultra Video Priority Oi SDS Ron Con in computers.com. In this video, I'm going to discuss upgrading from Mac OS 10.9.5, which is known as Mavericks, to Mac OS 10.10, .10, which is known as Yosemite. So, I had a customer that requested help with upgrading because of a printer issue. They were installing a new printer, so I'll cut to the chase and I will read verbatim their request. I need to update my computer from a 10.9.5 which is known as Mavericks to a minimum of a 10.10 .10, which is Yosemite. How can I do that without losing my files? It turned out that they had a MacBook Professional that had Mavericks installed and when they tried to hook up a brand new Canon TS5100 printer it probably erred out and told them that they needed to, you know, upgrade their Mac to the a newer version or my they didn't give me the exact message or error or whatnot, but I'm thinking it either warned that they needed to upgrade to a newer newer version of Mac or there it was a message saying you gotta upgrade to at least ten dot ten, which is Yosemite. So here's the instructions. It's pretty pretty easy actually. Upgrading Macintosh operating systems to me are pretty easy. When comparing to upgrading Windows operating system, Linux, Plan 9, Unix, pretty easy. What you do is you're going to have to have two pieces of information. You're going to have to have your Apple ID password and your Mac administrator password. If you do not have either one, you're fucked unless you can borrow somebody's Apple ID and their password and I'm not gonna digress and talk about how you might be able to blank your password or reset your password on a Mac because it is based upon Unix BSD I'm not gonna talk about that in this video I'm just showing you quick instructions on how to upgrade your Mac operating system now you could use these as basis points for upgrading from pretty much any version of Mac to any other version but let's just stick to Mavericks to Yosemite so that you would open the Apple Store which there's a A it's like a, it's the shape of the letter A down in the dock with the A logo click on the Apple Store get into the Apple Store you're gonna need to log into the Apple Store with your Apple ID because Apple requires that you use an Apple ID in order to update your Macintosh and also upgrade the operating system. So every time you go from like 10.9 to 10.10, .10, that's technically an operating system upgrade and it's a pretty major upgrade. Once you're logged into the Apple Store, there's different ways that you can find an upgrade. Sometimes on the feature tab, which I think by default, Apple store opens the feature tab and there'll be a banner and it'll advertise free right now they sometimes advertise high sierra as a free upgrade you just click on free upgrade or download now or whatever if you cannot find in this case yosemite there won't be a banner because there i don't think apple is advertising upgrading to yosemite anymore there is a search tool in the upper right hand corner in the Apple Store. There's a search box. You can type in Mac OS 10.10 .10 and you should be able to find the download link. Or you could type in Yosemite and, and find the download link. Now, if you are not able to upgrade from Mavericks, which is 10.9.x, with the latest was 10.9.5, anything 10.9 is considered Mavericks. If you cannot upgrade Mavericks to Yosemite, which is anything 10.10, .10, and then that you know anything after that, you might have to upgrade to El Capitan, or you might even have to upgrade to High Sierra. And then it depends on your hardware. I'm not going to digress about the hardware. What I could do is I could go back and I could include the hardware requirements for Yosemite. But most individuals that I support Mac that they that's an older operating system already. Most people have a Mac that supports Yosemite, so most times I don't have to worry about that, but I might include it anyways. I did link to the Mac OS 10.10 up, update page. And click on the link in the description box of this video down below 
so that you can read my instructions on my website in a computers.com so you found the download once the download completes it Yosemite off the top of my head I think it's three gigabytes but I could be wrong it's somewhere around there two three gigabytes what whatever it's a pretty large download once it finishes downloading it will probably open up the install window if it does not you want to go to your downloads folder on your Mac and then you'll just double click Yosemite or El Capitan or High Sierra but a lot of times it kicks it off for you this is where you're going to have to know your Macintosh password I it defies all logic to me I don't know why so many Mac users have a problem number one remembering their Apple ID password number two remembering their administrator password to me there are no excuses this is uh, those passwords are it's not like some obscure website that you browse once a month and you forget the password I understand that when it comes to a password for an account that you use every day I don't get it you have to know both passwords you will not be able to proceed if you do not know your Apple ID password you can borrow somebody else's on this third-party website that I will never name on a video I offer to use my own Apple ID to upgrade customers and and I've used it more than once I'm willing to you know use my own I know what I'm doing I just go back after the install and I make sure that I log out of the Apple store I make sure that the customer logs me out if they're if they're hesitant I remotely connect into the computer I go to the Apple store and I physically log myself out because I don't want my Apple ID on their computer on their computer but I'm willing to offer the use of my Apple ID I don't have to do that but I do do that so what I, my point is that I don't know of any I don't read Apple's fucking legal garbage I'm not aware of any stipulations where they say no you can't use somebody else's Apple ID you could you know your friends mistress co-workers somebody that's willing to you know offer it you could also try to open another Apple ID but that can take a little while I don't I don't I could be wrong but I don't think you get an Apple ID working right away and then I think you have to attach a credit card to it but when it comes to your administrator password you have to know it you just no excuses in my opinion with the Mac administrator password because you're using that Mac what every day or I, I just don't understand how you wouldn't know your Mac password that's just defies all logic in my brain so those are two very important pieces of information so the download complete and then the first thing it's gonna ask once you either double click the download or it takes you to the install screen is it's gonna ask for your Macintosh administrative password type it in if it's wrong it'll tell you if it's correct it'll accept it and then it'll move on to the next stage which is you know, you know you'll just follow the prompts you're gonna to have to pick the destination hard drive if you only have one hard drive on your Mac you don't really need to worry because you're only gonna have one option you just I think I don't think you can even select it because there's only one hard drive if you had more than one hard drive you want to make sure you select the correct destination hard drive you know what I'm saying to upgrade then you click next and then eventually you'll get to the restart button I would highly recommend I don't like the word recommend anymore I think it's very productive for you to close all applications before you click on restart because I've noticed with my years of experience upgrading Linux Mac Windows etc that a lot of times when you leave applications open during a operating system upgrade or even updates even Mac updates Linux updates Windows updates that sometimes it'll it'll fuck up those applications that were open or it'll cause a problem during the upgrade so I think it's very productive that you close everything that you can think of go to your dock and make sure nothing is open your email close it web browser close it close all the tabs close shut just quit if you even if you have to go up to the Apple menu the top menu and then select quit quit everything Skype quit just quit it iTunes quit <laughs> then you're gonna hit the restart button and the the Macintosh will reboot it'll restart and then that's when it upgrades 
Now it depends on the heart, your hardware. I can't tell you how long it's going to take. I get asked that question a lot of times and I never guarantee anything because computers are very volatile and I have my own theory of relativity. Most when it comes to information technology, most times it's relative. It has a progress indicator. It'll tell you that's where the up, the operating system gets upgraded when you restart because it's a file system. The file system was mounted. It has to dismount, and then it, the Mac has to restart. And then that's when the files, the new files, are you know installed, and the operating system gets upgraded. It could, I don't know half an hour, an hour, whatever. It depends on the speed of your Mac. Depends on how much memory you have. It just really depends on. Eventually, it'll boot back up into either your login prompt or it'll just log you in to your desktop if you have it configured that way. And that should be it. Ho hopefully, you don't have any problems, but Macintosh upgrades are not perfect. I had one recent customer that her email quit working. You know what? I need to write that blog post and I need to make that video because that's a gold tip. It was a quick, easy fix. And I'm not going to tell you what it is now because that's... You know, you're going to have to find out. You're going to have to look for my video. I should make that video. Now, here's a couple of tips. I'm going to say my gold tip for last. I already gave you a couple of tips. If you cannot find where, you know, to upgrade your Mac. If, if you don't, if you want to save time, just go to the search box and type in which version of Mac you want to upgrade to. On this upgrade, it, it you may not be able to upgrade to Yosemite, but you might be able to upgrade to El Capitan. You may now with certain Macintoshes, it depends on the hardware. You may not be able to upgrade directly from, let's say, Mavericks to High Sierra. However, what you could do is you might be able to upgrade it from Mavericks to, I would say, El Capitan, which would which would save you time. So my point is you might have to skip. So if if you're if you're wanting excuse me to upgrade to High Sierra and it tells you you can't directly try to upgrade it to something newer. You could, you know, try El Capitan first or because if you upgrade to Yosemite that's 10.10 .10, which would be sufficient for this customer. The their new Canon only supported Mac operating system 10.10 .10 or newer, which is Yosemite. So you could kind of try to skip. I did that before. I made it, it's on my YouTube channel. I made a long video. I think it was, I think I upgraded Mavericks to High Sierra, but I had to install Yosemite first or something like that. You can verify the upgrade by going to the Apple icon on the top menu click the Apple icon logo whatever you want to call it and then select about this Mac and that will tell you what version of Macintosh operating system you are running so that's a quick tip if you do not know what version of Mac operating system you are using click on the Mac icon select about this Mac and that'll tell you 10.10 .10. make sure that I don't think Macintosh the newer Macintosh operating systems they don't support 32-bit anymore. So mm, there's another way. You can go into the system profiler. You go to uh, hit the Mac, go to about this Mac, click on system report. On the left-hand side, scroll down until you see software. Click software to expand it. And then look for 64-bit. It's on a, it's, it's 64-bit. There's a, uh, there's a, option there for 64-bit kernel. If it says yes, your Mac already supports 64-bit. So if it says no, it does not. So that's a quick tip in case you run into that roadblock. Any other tips before my gold tip? Here's my gold tip. Once you successfully upgrade your Mac and you've used the your Apple ID and obviously you went to the Apple Store, well as when you download that Mac upgrade, whether it's Yosemite, El Capitan, Sierra, High Sierra, I don't see too many people upgrading to Sierra. I don't know if that was 
if Apple has intentionally blocked people, but usually most of my customers I help, they will upgrade to El Capitan, which is 10.11, or High Sierra, which is 10.13. I'm not sure why that is. Once you successfully download a newer version of the Mac operating system, El Capitan, Yosemite, Sierra, High Sierra, then and then you successfully upgraded that Mac, you know, it, you hit restart, it rebooted, no problems, you verified about this Mac, bam. It will automatically show up in your purchases tab. I have fucking no idea why that is because you didn't purchase anything because Mac upgrades are free. Upgrading the different versions of Mac for now is free. So here, that's a tip. Let's say you have to re-image that Mac. The hard drive fails. And what you can do is you can use your Apple Store to upgrade it from a different one. You might you might have to go and install the original Mac operating system that came with that computer. And then, but if you go to your the purchases tab in the Apple Store, any newer Mac operating systems that you successfully downloaded and installed will will show up. Now you'll you'll have to re-download them. So and there will be a download button. Look look under purchases. It'll tell you, oh, El Capitan, and then there should be a download button on the right-hand side. You just click download. You have to re-download it and go through these instructions and reinstall, but that can save you a lot of time. You don't have to fuck around, you know, going to web links or opening up iTunes, or you just click purchases, bam, download, bam, enter in your Mac administrator password, bam, select the hard drive source, or excuse me, destination, Bam, click restart. Bam, you just upgrade your Mac. So that's my goal tip because it can save you a lot of time. And then each operating system that you've upgraded to, so each new operating system that you upgrade to, you just go to the purchases tab and you can re you know download and reinstall those. And like I it can like I said, it can save you time. Hard drive failure, your Mac is all fucked up now, it's not working right, or whatever. Or as a technician. You know, it keeps a history of your operating system upgrades on Macintosh in the purchases tab. So hopefully these instructions were sufficient for you to upgrade your Mac from 10.9.5, which is Mavericks, to 10.10, .10, which is Yosemite. And, <laughs> and as always, good luck. <laughs> You're going to need it. Check, click on the link in the description box below in this video for instructions on how to upgrade your Mac from Mavericks to Yosemite. Adios. Or even, or even higher. Even to High Sierra. Adios.